Today, we've got some massive news for you. So grab a seat and pay close attention because this is going to be one of our most exciting updates yet. We're talking about the highly anticipated open network launch of P Network set for 2024 and the three critical conditions that need to be met for this monumental step forward in the Pi ecosystem. And that's not all. Later in this video, we're diving deep into Solana's centralization issues brought up by none other than Edward Snowden. His comments are causing waves in the crypto community, and we'll explore how these claims could impact Solana's price action moving forward. Before we dive in, you know what to do, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest and greatest in the crypto space. Now, let's jump right in. Pi Network is on the brink of an incredible transformation with its open network launch coming in 2024. But to make this happen, we, the community of pioneers, need to step up and meet three key conditions. In today's video, we'll break these down one by one and explain how you can be part of Pi's revolutionary journey. And for those of you holding Solana or considering it, Stay tuned. Edward Snowden. Yes, that Edward Snowden has recently made some alarming claims about Solana centralization. We'll explore what this could mean for the future of Solana and its price movements. This is a jam-packed episode, so stick around to the very end because you won't want to miss any of it. First up, let's talk about Pi Network and its journey towards the open network launch in 2024. This is a major milestone that could completely change how we interact with cryptocurrency. But here's the thing for Pi Network to successfully launch its open network. There are three conditions that need to be met. Let's dive into each one. The first and most crucial condition is completing KYC. That's know your customer. KYC is a verification process where you confirm your identity to ensure that only real legitimate users are participating in the P ecosystem. Now, you might be wondering why is this so important? Well, for Pi Network to be recognized as a secure and legitimate platform, it needs to comply with global regulations. KYC helps prevent fraud, fake accounts, and make sure that bad actors aren't manipulating the system. But it's not just about Pi's security, it's about yours too. To get this done, you'll need to submit personal identification documents, complete identity verification, and potentially go through facial recognition. It's a small step with huge implications for the future of the Pi network. So if you're a P pioneer who hasn't completed KYC yet, what are you waiting for? head over to the app and finish your verification process. It's a crucial part of moving Pi Network forward and ensuring the open network launch goes smoothly. Next up, we've got the deployment and testing of the mainnet. For those of you who are newer to crypto, the mainnet is the real deal. It's the full blockchain that will support actual transactions and smart contracts on Pi Network. Up until now, we've been operating on a testnet, which is essentially a practice ground. But once the mainnet is live, Pi Network will be fully, fully functional, and that's where the real magic happens. But launching a mainnet net isn't as simple as flipping a switch. The Pi Core team is conducting thorough tests to ensure that the mainnet is stable, scalable, and secure. These tests are critical because the last thing we want is for the mainnet to go live and encounter major issues like transaction delays or security vulnerabilities. And pioneers, this is where you can contribute. While the core team is doing the heavy lifting, it's important for the community to stay informed and provide feedback where necessary. If there are bugs, report them. If there's anything you think can improve, let the team know. This collaborative effort will help ensure the main net launch is as smooth as possible. And let's not forget the developers in the P ecosystem. They're using this time to build and test decentralized apps, dApps that will run on Pi's mainnet. These applications will play a huge role in expanding the use cases for Pi coin, and we'll need them to function flawlessly once we transition to the open network. So stay tuned for updates from the PyCore team as they push forward with mainnet testing. Finally, the third condition for a successful open network launch is community support and global adoption. 
Pi Network has a massive community of over 35 million users. But to truly unlock the potential of the open network, we need to see widespread participation in real world use cases. What does this mean for us, the pioneers? It means we have to spread the word about Pi. Whether it's telling your friends and family or partnering with businesses to explore Pi's utility, the more we grow the community, the stronger the network becomes. Think about it, with more people using Pi, we increase its value both in terms of utility and price. Global adoption also depends on partnering with key players in the business world. We're talking about everything from online retailers accepting Pi coin to financial institutions recognizing Pi as a legitimate asset. The P Core team is hard at work establishing these partnerships, but they can't do it alone. This is where you come in by promoting Pi and being an active part of the community. You help drive the adoption that's so crucial to the network's success. Remember, this isn't just another crypto project. Pi Network has the potential to redefine decentralized finance. But for that to happen, we need the whole community to rally behind the project. Now, let's switch gears and talk about Solana. If you've been keeping up with crypto news, you might have seen Edward Snowden's latest comments, comments about Solana at the Token 2049 conference. Bernardin didn't hold back. He called Solana centralized as sand, implied that it might only be good for meme coins and scams. But let's take a closer look at what he's saying. Solana has been a darling of the crypto world, known for its fast transaction speeds and low fees. It's built a massive ecosystem and has a lot of promise. But Snowden's comments aren't entirely unfounded. Centralization has been a lingering criticism of Solana for a while. With a, a relatively small group controlling a large portion of the network, some argue that Solana isn't living up to the decentralized ethos of blockchain. So what does this mean for Solana's price? Well, as of now, Solana is trading around $141, sitting at the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. This is a key point. It could act as a pivot for a bullish breakout, potentially pushing Solana toward $25 or even $325. However, if decentralization claims gain more traction, it could spook investors, causing the price to dip even further. If Solana falls below key support levels, we could see it drop to $85 or even lower. The historically Solana has shown resilience in the face of criticism. Remember after previous claims of centralization, the price dipped but quickly bounced back thanks to the strength of its ecosystem. Will we see a similar recovery this time around? It's possible, but keep an eye on the broader market sentiment and how the Solana team responds to these allegations. Bay, if you're holding Solana, this is a critical time to stay informed. The next few weeks will be key in determining whether Solana can maintain its upward momentum or if it will struggle under the weight of these criticisms. As we wrap up today's video, it's clear that both Pi Pothe Network and Solana are at crucial turning points in their respective journeys. Pi Network's open network launch is just around the corner, but we need to meet those three key conditions. KYC completion, minute deployment, global adoption to make it happen. Aim and for Solana, Edward Snowden centralization concerns could have a major impact on its price and reputation. So, what's your take on all of this? Are you confident in Pi Network's upcoming launch? And do you think Solana can bounce back from these centralization claims? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's update, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you're always up to date on the latest crypto news. And remember folks, this is not financial advice, just my perspective on the current market trends. Until next time, stay informed, keep mining, and let's keep growing together. This is Zaki from Zaki Crypto Update, signing off. Stay tuned for more updates, and as always, stay, stay crypto savvy.